My name is Katie or Katie Does Art and uh, today we're going to be modeling a donut in Maya. Uh, you might have also uh, seen my uh, modeling tutorial for a donut box. <laughs> so this is going along with that tutorial um, if you are needed that. So to start us off we're just going to go ahead and grab a Taurus. Um, Taurus is just like a fancy name for a ring I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah so you might be saying uh, Great, we're done. Um, the donut's complete, and you are technically correct. <laughs> but I would really love to add some frosting and maybe some sprinkles on top. So first thing I want to do is I want to see if we could use the multi-cut tool um, to add like a frosting layer. So go ahead, click space, and then go to the top view and click space again. So, um, in order to get the multi-cut tool, I held shift down, and then I held the right click down. Um, oh, you have to be an object now. <laughs> um, you hold shift, and then hold right click, and then multi- Okay, so a couple things I am thinking about. Um, I think that when you're in the multi-cut tool, you should just be able to- oh, okay, so that's not what I want. First, no symmetry. Um, I want to be able to just draw. Curves. Oh, maybe it's this. Yep. Okay, so go ahead and click on curves and surfaces up here. Click on this tool and then draw on that frosting. Hold on. Okay, thank you. Alright, so go ahead and grab this tool right here, and then you can just draw on kind of where you think it's going to go. So that should have created a curve for us, looks like that, and then Thank you. 
So go ahead and grab that multi-cut tool and then you're just going to be kind of just drawing, try and make a lot of points. Doesn't have to be super neat, but you do want to make sure that you make lots of points or else it'll appear a little uh, geometric. <laughs> So then you can just click enter um, and it should spread out like this. You can click Q then to select and then let's go into face mode because we are going to be selecting each of those faces so that we can extrude them and bring them up a bit. Um, I would also be careful, I think you only want to go like a certain way in. So if you just hold shift and double click then you should be able to um, click a ring. Um, but yes, yeah, so you're just gonna go through and kind of select all of those guys. Um, you can also hold tab and then select them like this. That might be a little bit easier, just that way because you can quickly select them. Make sure you've got all of them selected, even the super tiny guys that kind of sneak into those corners. All right, I think I've got all of them. So next thing you just wanna do is extrude, so Command E for that. And then go ahead and up that thickness, hold Control while you do that, so that it should look like that, basically. You can click three to kind of see how it's coming out looks actually really good. <laughs> I love that. Um, and then if you want to, you can adjust the thickness if you want it more thick or not as thick. I think 0.05 is probably a decent amount. Um, all right, so I think next thing we just gotta do is sprinkles. So um, actually I think, yeah, okay, for sprinkles, let's, let's grab a cylinder. Cylinders are fine for sprinkles. Click R and then I'm just going to scale it down a ton, make it a tall guy, but really small, like that. And then if you go into the channel box, you can rotate it um, 90 degrees so that it is laying like that. All right, and then all you're going to do is just kind of pick some places for it to go on. Try and clip it a little bit. All right. Um, on your cylinder, you can click three so it rounds out a bit, and then go ahead and position it, and then you're just going to be duplicating that a ton and um, moving them around. I would rotate them so that they don't all look the same, and then just make sure that you're positioning them so that they are clipping that surface. You might need to rotate it a couple different ways so that it does completely lay in there. It doesn't have to be perfect per se, but just make it look realistic. All right, so now I'm just gonna go through and make sure that they are all relatively clipping that surface. None of them are, you know, hanging up in the air or anything. Um, all right. So once you have finished throwing some sprinkles on top, um, that's about it. So that is a super easy donut with some frosting and some sprinkles. Um, if you guys have any questions about that, let me know. Um, last step is that technically you could select all of this and do mesh combine and that will make it all one mesh. That's totally up to you if you want to do that. I'm not going to do that because I want to um, kind of texture my guys uh, separately. So totally up to you, um, but no need to. So um, yeah, I'll leave a comment below if you guys need anything at all. I'm here for you as always, and I will see you guys next time for our next creation. Bye guys.